In this video, I'm going to talk about compound interest just as a mathematical component of exponential growth. I'm not going to give you advice on you know, saving money or anything. I, I probably shouldn't give you financial advice. Even though I do have a degree that says that I should be able to do that, I realized over time this is probably, it's probably better if I just look at it from this perspective. Let somebody who's good at that do it. Anyway, uh, the formula is a version of the old uh, exponential growth formula, which is y equals a times b to the uh, x power. All this kind of matches in. The a uh, refers to the uh, essentially the amount that's in the account itself. So whatever the overall value of the thing happens to be, wherever you put your money, whether it's you know CDs or um, some sort of just account, it tends to have uh, A represents basically just the uh, balance in the account. So, so for A, you could say amount or you could say balance in the account as a whole. Uh, P represents the principal, which would be the uh, version in the uh, principal, I forgot. Not like your principal, but the principal would be the initial amount that you have in the account. So startup money. The R represents your rate, which is always in decimal form. The N, uh, that would be the um, number of times interest is compounded per year. NT would be the total number of years. Um, now, when we talk about compound interest, we're talking about the idea of they add interest uh, at certain times throughout the year, and once you get interest, so say it's 5%, well after the first year they do 5%, and after that they do 5% on top of what you just, of the total amount at that point. So um, if it was, you had $100 and you got 5%, well it's 105 then. So in the next session, they would do 5% of 105 as opposed to 100. Simple interest is where you look at the actual initial amount, you calculate a percentage, uh, say it's 6%. Well, I'm just going to get, eventually I'll get 6% of that as opposed to, you know, something else. So that's kind of where that all goes. Uh, whereas compounding, they're giving you money on top each year that it rolls around. So let's do a couple of them. I'll keep the little form around. Most of the time when you do this type of problem, they give you the interest formula somewhere that you can use. Otherwise, I mean, you can figure it out from the exponential growth formula if you want. So anyway, I've got a $4,000 principal. I'm earning 4%. Uh, it's compounded annually, and time is in three years. So if I want to go from this point so um, A is the part I'm looking for. My principal value is 4000 and I need to do something where I'm considering the uh, principal as part of my I want to know what it is after I add it on plus the original principal, so that's why the one is there. And then uh, the rate would be 4%, so 0.04. And now I would divide it by the number of times it's done. Annually means it's done once, so I can just do 0 0.04. And then uh, my number of times, which in this case is, of course, one, and the number of years. So I'm merely doing it for three years at that rate. So I can just do 4,000 times 1 plus 0.04 and I'm raising that to the third power hit it and I'll end up with four thousand four hundred and ninety nine dollars and forty six cents that will be my balance after three years of doing that so that's the setup if I wanted to do it by the way from the original idea of a uh, exponential growth It makes sense. The A part would be the initial balance. The B part would be the growth factor, which is, um, in this case, 1.0, or so the sorry, one and the percentage, which it's only done one time, so 1.04, and then I'd raise that to the number, which would be three. So it works out to be the same thing. That's just where it comes from. Let's do uh, 
two more, but really it's the same problem just with a one adjustment. Uh, in this one, I'm dealing with the principal of 1400. I'm earning 3%, uh, but it's compounded semi-annually. Semi doesn't, most, some people don't think of semi as meaning anything specific, but it really means that you're compounding it twice a year, so halfway through the year, and your time is going to be 19 years. So if I were to use the formula principal equals 1 plus the rate over the number of times it's compounded, and then I want the number of times compounded times time. 1400, 1 plus, my rate now is going to be uh, 0.03, but in this point, this time I have to uh, divide because there's two times where it's compounded throughout that year. And then I want to do 2 times 19. So 1400 times 1 plus Uh, 03, 0.03 divided by 2 gives you 1.015 and that be raised to the uh, 38th power. So, and by the way, if you're wondering, I was doing it here because I like to check to see that I'm right when I'm doing them for you. So 1.03, 1 plus 0.03 uh, to this, over this 2 and it gives me this, so then I'm going to raise it to 30th power. So checking it all in, I didn't want it to be any sort of you sensing that I was trying to be smart. I'm not trying to be smart, I'm just trying to show you how to get the answer. There it is, in all its glory. So, $2,465.12. That's not a great earning rate. 19 years is a long time to keep it in at that rate, but it's more, it's like almost double your money, well not really, it's a thousand dollars more than you had before, uh, you didn't put in very much, you didn't do much to work the numbers, so it's not bad, it's a heck of a lot better than spending it all on uh, something that, like, people who used to spend them on DVDs, nobody's really using DVDs anymore, so good luck on that. I'll do the same thing, except this time I'm going to compound it quarterly, so all this stuff's going to stay the same, and you can see how it changes it, what the effect is. By the way, I tend to always write down the formula just so I have a nice place to get my head wrapped around. It sort of sets the stage for everything. 1 plus 0.03. Now this time, it's quarterly, which means four times a year. So 1 plus 0 .04, uh, 0 0.03, sorry over 4 gives me 1.0075 which is by the way this is an annual earning rate and it's just showing you the compounding parts but I get it at more uh, overall terms so 76 so I do 1400 times 1.0075 and raise that to the 76th power, I get 2,470.31. Which doesn't seem like a big difference, but I mean, you know, $5 is $5. Imagine if you put $10,000 in there. It starts to go up a lot. Anyway, that's compound interest. I'm not here to give you financial advice. Uh, that's the uh, compound interest in terms of a mathematical perspective. Set it up. It's just like exponential growth. You know, no big deal.